Hey everyone, Tina here. Why should you take my class today? I'll give you three perfect reasons. First is, do you have 20 minutes? This class is only going to be 20 minutes. Super quick, fast results. Number two, the number one body part request, hips, tight hips. So here's your body, right? Hip here, hip here, stretch, deep stretch, deep release you'll get in this class. Number three, we're reducing stress. Now, I don't know about you, but we're in the middle of a pandemic. I'm a bit stressed out. Start yoga feeling a little bit frazzled, had a rough day, boss was mean, friend was mean, kids are crazy. So this is your before yoga photo and after yoga, cool as a cucumber. So if you've got 20 minutes, tight hips and a lot of stress, I suggest you take this class. Let's get to the mat. All right, so we're going to get started standing, opening up with some sun A's just to get the muscles nice and warm. And then we're going to get into that nice deep stretch for your hips. So let's start at the top of your mat. Hands touch, toes touch. Take a couple of deep breaths. With your next inhale, sweep the arms up overhead and exhale to take your forward fold. Find your high plank pose, inhale, and low plank, exhale. Upward face and downward facing dog. Move around a little bit in this downward facing dog to get into the hips, outer hips, backs of legs. Give the head a turn. And then let's lift heels, bend knees, look forward. Step feet, inhale, fold, exhale. Rise up, inhale, hands, heart, exhale. One more breath in, sweep, breath out, fold. Breath in, plank. Breath out, low plank. Breath in, up face. Breath in, downward facing dog. Float right leg in the air. Stack and open up the hip. So lift that right knee up to the ceiling and then draw some circles. Go one way a few times and then the other. Then step that right foot forward. We're going to stay with high lunge so that back heel stays lifted and then take the arms up overhead. Getting into the front of the hip, flip that left palm up to the ceiling and take a hold of the left wrist. Reach up and dive to the right. So consciously press that left hip forward Come back to center and release the hands down to the mat. Walk the hands inside right foot. Right foot goes a little wider and then drop left knee down. So you're in your lizard lunge. This is one of my favorite ones for the hips. So let those right toes angle a little wider and start to rock side to side. You could also give a rock a little back and forward. Draw some little circles. And we're gonna pause in the stretch to get that deep stretching sensation. You can keep hands on the mat or take it one step lower down to your forearms. Keep allowing that right knee to drop to the side. You might even pick up the inner arch of the foot. And then let's climb back up to the hands, reset those toes forward, and we'll step back plank. 
Exhale, low plank. Inhale up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's walk the hands backwards to the feet. Take a quick releasing fold. And then come all the way up, breath in. Hands to heart, breath out. Some standing balances for the hips. So bend into the knees. And let's take that right ankle to your left thigh. So coming into your figure four shape. Once you have your balance, you can sink the hips as if you are sitting back in a chair. And you'll feel this right outer hip start to get a release. Breath in takes you up. Extend that leg, give it a little spin. And just lower that foot down to the mat. Tree pose to the other side. So you'll hug left knee in. Open the hip to the side now. And the foot is above or below your knee. Hands heart center. Actively press that left leg open. So you'll get into your inner hip. Extend left leg forward, give it a little spin, and then lower that foot down. Let's take tree pose other side. So right shin hugs in, open, land the foot above or below knee, hands to center. So use the strength of the right outer hip to press that knee wider and open so that you get more release to the inner hip. Extend that leg forward, give it a little spin. Right foot to the top of the mat, bend both knees, left ankle to the thigh. So you've got figure four the other side. Once you found your balance, you can sink into the hips and feel that opening now to the outer left hip. And then back up. Extend that leg, give it a little spin and then meet at center. Let's take a reach up of the arms, breath in, and forward fold, breath out. Step back to your high plank pose, low plank, exhale. Upward dog, downward facing dog. Let's float that left leg in the air, stack the hip, bend the knee, and then once again, draw some circles with that knee. Big, wide circles, one way and the other. And then step that foot forward. Use the inhale to sweep the arms up, high lunge. And we'll come into the side body. Right palm flips up, take a hold of that wrist, inhale, and side lean left. So as you side lean to the left, you're feeling that right hip press forward and getting a nice stretch all along that side body, but especially that right hip flexor. Release the hands. Let's take them inside that foot. Drop the right knee down for your lizard lunge. So you can let the toes angle towards the left. Start to give some rocking side to side. And then also a little forward and backward. Maybe even some full circles. And then for the deep stretch, you can stay here or take it lower down to the forearms and just focus on your breath. Let that left knee splay, pick up the arch of left foot. And then let's return to your hands. Left toes face forward. Let's tuck the back toes under, lift the knee so you can step back. High plank to low plank to up face to downward facing dog. 
Let's lower the knees down to the mat. Let's take this right leg into the air, bend the knee, and you're just gonna rotate that knee out towards the right, and then angle that knee down and towards the left. Just getting some nice opening up for that hip, rocking it side to side. Once more. Then we're gonna hug that knee in towards the belly, and then drop that whole knee and shin all the way to the top of the mat. Let's walk this left leg longer behind you. We'll set up for a pigeon shape. So the right knee is gonna come to a one o'clock and this right heel is directly under your left hip. So press the fingertips down, lift your chest for a stretch at the front of that left hip. And then we can take it into your pigeon. So the arms can come down. You can prop yourself up on forearms, gazing down or you can stack the palms and rest the forehead down. And then come on back up to your hands. So what we're going to do is let the weight fall into your right hip. And you're gonna sweep this left leg all the way up and around to that right side of your mat. Now, if this is uncomfortable, the bottom leg can go straight. So we're gonna add a twist. Left hand back, right arm up, wrap around to that shin and knee. As you pull that leg towards you, you get that opening for that left outer hip, and then take your twist left. and then turn to face forward. So what we're going to do is stack the legs for your fire log pose. Now I think this is one of the deepest stretches for the hips. So what you're going to do is you can keep this left leg on top, but bring the ankle so that it's on top of that right knee or thigh, and then kind of inchworm this right heel out so it's underneath that left knee. So you're kind of stacking the legs on top of each other like fire logs. Now you can see my knee is hiked up quite high because I have quite tight glutes. So you can bask it under that knee to give a little bit of support. And just notice if you're leaning back and see if you can press those hips straight down and sit up as tall as you can directly on the sits bones. Now if you are a body where this knee is really dropped down towards the foot, you might walk this forward into a fold. Now, I'm tight enough where sitting up tall is enough of a stretch for me. Then let's come up if you are folded. Start by extending that top leg, followed by the bottom. Give the knees a shake. And we'll take a vinyasa. So come forward, plant your hands, and step back plank, breath in. Exhale, low plank. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Now we can drop the knees down to the mat again, tabletop. And now this time you're floating that left knee in the air where you're bending the knee. So you're gonna open that hip by pressing the knee towards the left side of the mat. And then you're gonna allow that knee to cross over towards the right. You're just opening up inner hip, outer hip, and thighs. And take one more. Then you take that right knee, squeeze it into the belly, and then shift that shin towards the left thumb. And you can inchworm this right leg longer. So this left knee can stay as it is or can come to about 11 o'clock and the heel underneath that opposite hip. Press the fingertips down to sit up tall and come out of the hips for a stretch and right hip flexor. And then you'll take it 
down to hands, forearms, or stacking the palms. Then you'll come back up to your hands. Shift weight left and draw right leg all the way up and over. If you took a straight bottom leg first side, find that again. And then we'll take the twist. Right hand back, left arm up and wrap around that shin and pull the leg closer to you. Bring some weight into that right hip and then take your twist back. unravel yourself and we'll come into that fire log stack on the other side so you can keep the right leg on top but adjust so that the ankle is on top of left thigh and then you wiggle the left foot free so it can come underneath that right knee both feet actively flexed to help keep the knees nice and safe hold underneath that top knee and make sure you're rocking enough forward that you're sitting directly on the sits bones and not leaning back. So again, if your right knee is closer to the left foot, you could take it into a forward fold. Otherwise, you sit up tall and breathe. And then come back up. Let's let go of that top leg, followed by the bottom, give a nice shake. And then we'll end on your back. So bring both of the feet to touch and let the knees once again splay out towards the sides. You can let the hands rest on the inner thighs, maybe on the body, more of a shoulder release. The arms could be up overhead. We'll just take some time here to gently let the inner thighs and the inner hips release. You might close the eyes. And then wrap the arms around the legs. Give a little rock side to side. And then roll up to sit. And that's that. Much more open and released hips. I hope you enjoyed this class. Hands to heart center. Take a breath in. And out. Namaste. Don't forget to give me the biggest love with a thumbs up and a comment. Let me know what you'd like to see in future classes and something that you liked best in this video. Hit that subscribe button and especially the little bell so that you're notified when my new classes are released. Have a great rest of your day.